Hi, I didn't see you there. My name's Aaron and I'm going to be on Scare to Care, a charity event stream where we'll be raising money for Camp Kesem, which is a beautiful charity, you should check it out. Anyway, Barry and I, right, Barry and I? Barry and I are going to be on Scare to Care at 6 p.m. PDT, that's Pacific Time. And we're going to be playing scary games for you. For you, log on twitch.tv slash care That's today. It's happening today. It's 6 PDT. That's Pacific time. Converted to your time zone. Me and Barry. Scary games. Scare to care. Charity. It's Vernon's charity. So if, if that all if that adds to the reasons to go, then by all means, be there. Or be square. Be there. Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the game Grumps. Hey, welcome back! Welcome back, ho! Okay. It's the moon again. Boobity boobity boop! Oh, there's a there's a shark. Oh, you can Whoa. just like roll around wherever you want to go. That's cool. Uh, uh, uh. Well, don't unravel underneath the tree. You might get squished. You're right. That's a good call. You might unravel and die. Uh, so that Aaron might be the and end I just got back from. Wait, what the h? What the h e double hockey sticks is going on here? Uh, get, uh, all right. Get the booby ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Boob ghost, sad turtle. <laughs> Angry dinosaur and useless Goomba. Yeah. Dinosaur baby booby ghost. <laughs> uh, oh, we were just uh, on tour. Yeah, we went on the Ninja Sex Party tour. Shout out to the delightful cities of uh, Nashville, Charlotte, Orlando, and Atlanta um, who treated us so well. That was a dream come true, those shows. Those shows. <laughs> oh, yeah, they oh, were awesome. Oh, oh, are you a friend or? Nope, nope, you're a nightmare. Good, good show. Um, good people. Yay. Um, good venues. Good times. Still around good stuff, yeah. We took a tour bus for the first time. That was crazy. Yeah. Living on that tour bus was fucking bananas. I actually loved it and got some of the best sleep in my life. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I love sleeping in those bunks. Holy crap. Um, they were just like. Well, the weird thing is that they're like blackout curtains, too. Uh -oh. And, uh, so we'd be like driving around, so we'd fall asleep and then we'd drive to another city and then we'd wake up in another city, right? Yes. Um, so... We crazy Daisy! <laughs> <laughs> you crazy! Uh, so... We would wake up, I would fall asleep and I'd wake up and it'd be just pitch black, but then I realized it's like two. Yeah, uh, because we would perform at night, and then we'd be up for a long time. Yes, and then we'd end up going to sleep at like five, and then I'd fall asleep, and then I wake up at fucking two, but it'd be like pitch black in the fucking bus. This is blackout all around. The whole thing was bananas. It, it was a very, it was a very strange and unique experience, but um, definitely like just fucking fabulous to to feel, you know? Yeah. Like the 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 love from those crowds was insane. And like, oh man, for sure. Yeah, just um, cr just crazy energy. Uh, how do I? How do I? How do I? Yeah, it looks like I? you're fucked. Looks like you're absolutely fucked. Look at that. Oh. Look at this right here. Um, we'll what were we talking doing. about about touring though? That is something that brought it up. Uh. Oh, we were jacking off in our bunks. No, we were not. Yeah, jacking that off. doesn't that doesn't happen. You're just too close to other people. Yeah. Any any slight like. Would be absolutely <laughs> heard by the person next yeah, to you. Far too many. Yeah, so there's there's no way. Um, I have to wait. So a I whole need, a whole week a, and a half without J and O. I need a quick story from you. Okay. So I can press A with perfect. Oh, okay. Timing. Uh, one day my wife Sandra, this is oh. a made up story, uh, told me that she wasn't satisfied with my sexual endeavors. Wow, this might. So I told bad. her, well then maybe you should be invited to them. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Ah, boy. Excellent. That was a good one. Boy, your stories are really helping me rock this shit. Oh, yeah, man. 6666. God damn it. It's the, it's the yeah, number it's... of the devil's brother. <laughs> the number of the devil's next door neighbor. Devil's area code. Oh, that's 6666. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Can I just blow him away? Get him. Get him. Get him. You can't fucking deal with this shit. You're daisies. Peace out, bitches! <laughs> Peace! You motherfucking- Bitch!
Stamen ass motherfuckers. Stamen. John Stamen. John Stamen. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it was, uh, it was unreal. Like, I, I, I'm really looking forward to, oh, and you know what? This is a good chance to say it. Let me apologize, um, to anyone, uh, who, oh, fuck. Wait, how do I deal with these green guys again? You just gotta use ground techniques, bro. That's right. You um, can't jump on them. You gotta use the quake. I think I should just keep using this jam un until. Uh, yeah, why not? Yeah, it's it's so effective. Okay. I uh, Larry's older brother, Cindy, was unfortunately named after a girl. He didn't mind though because he thought Cindy was a pretty name, and whenever he'd tell people that, they'd say, "Oh, what a pretty name Cindy is." Then one day he met a Cindy who was a total bitch. The end. Wow. Aaron, yeah. you are helping me crush this shit. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, killed him. Awesome. Okay, so you wanted to apologize? Oh yeah, I want to apologize to uh, fans that wait for us after the shows. Um, sometimes I'll try to do like a running high five to everyone if I can. I am on uh, strict uh, orders from uh, my voice teacher and vocal doctor not to... Um, Get uh, sick, basically. Well, no, but it's it's more about speaking after I sing like that at a show. Oh yeah, because I'm still like, um, I had I had all kinds of vocal problems for years because I was singing incorrectly, and I'm like, I'm essentially in like vocal therapy now, and I'm way better. Like these shows were like much easier than uh, hmm, th than I've ever a much easier time than I've ever had performing before, uh, singing wise. But that's um. How do I do this? What am I- what am I missing here? Well, I can tell you, um, while you figure this out. I can, oh, oh, what the fuck? I figured it out. What the hell did you figure that out? I just pushed a button. Whoa. Um, uh, so, yeah, so... It, it is not that I don't want to meet you all after a show, or, or, like, if- if people were yelling at me and I just, like, jumped onto the bus after, like, waving or whatever, like, that's the reason. It's just because I- I am- I will fuck up my voice if I talk yeah. too much after shows. I mean, you saw me. I would. I'd just go to the back of the bus and like breathe steam for a while. Yeah. Um, for me, it's it's similar. It's um. You might notice I sound a little nasally in the last couple episodes. That's because I went out and met fans on one venue. Oh yeah, that's all it takes. <laughs> and the next day, I woke up sick. So it's 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 a real true thing and a very unfortunate thing because yeah, I love yeah. I love meeting people but that's how you get sick you every single tour hands. I've ever been on I've gotten sick um, and it's just because I, you know you, you never can tell like you're always shaking hands you're always giving hugs and I love doing that but it, it's just it's so tough on my immune system I'm just I have a weak shitty immune system mm. um, God damn it why does every I am straight up bubble boy man. <laughs> Let's Does it have either. something to do with this? With this? I mean, it's got it, right? Um... I... I cannot understand what I'm missing here. Can you help me out with this? Um... Bella, I don't even remember what you look like. Let, let me... <laughs> well, uh... Let me rack my oh, brain. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, and... How the fuck would you ever even, even, even... I mean, there's only so many things you can do, I right? I guess so. And there, there's a- there's a pound down thing, isn't there? Uh, yeah, it's just with Mario though, isn't it? Oh, maybe it is. Ooh, look at that. Look just at the that. ground pound. Look, typical- yeah, typical old Mario style ground pound. Excuse me? No! Pound that ground, baby. Pound that shit. It's one of the R's or L's, isn't it? When you're- when you're up in the air. God, there's so many buttons. It's like mid-jump. Mmm. There you go. There we- I did it. It's both buttons. Whoa, dude! Look how far back I am! You gotta jump over that rock, nice and quickly! Oh, you can't do it. Oh my god! Holy fucking shiz. How the fucking shit- This is the weirdest goddamn level! Yeah, this is apples and bananas right now. What is that? Yeah. Apples and bananas? Whoa, oh, oh! Fuck you. <laughs> apples and bananas? Yes. Ooples and bananas? Apples and bananas? Oh, the, we made it to the creepy steeple. That's as creepy a steeple I've ever seen. It's kind of pretty, actually. It's a Stevie creeple. Yeah. Uh, Stevie meeple. Yeah, this is a creepy steeple. Oh, that's right. I just gave him the normal. 
Yeah, this is creepy, Steeple. <laughs> that nasty monster's place. This place wigs me out. <laughs> Look, <laughs> Gonzalez. <laughs> Let's just get that crystal star and get out of here. Fast. Okay, hi! Yeah, it's like, if you mean by fast, uh, fucking ten episodes, then yeah. This could be fast as shit. Yeah, uh, as quickly as possible. Nice. It'll take another 20 episodes, but uh, it's fine. Yeah, it's gonna be sweet. Yeah, we'll just turn it into a best of compilation. <laughs> 48 minute long best of compilation. Do not touch the memory card and schlot A. Well, don't tell me what to do, alright? I'll do whatever I want. I'll touch whatever fucking memory card I feel. Cool. Lame. It won't open. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess it won't, huh? Huh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, oh. What is this? The rolly... There we go. Oh, nice. Yep. Yeah. That makes sense. You just learned it, so obviously we'll be using it a but lot. But of course. So go inside the door. It's gonna be great. Oh, and a special shout out to Orlando for throwing uh, 75 bras on stage. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, I helped pick up a lot of them. Yeah, uh, up until recently, Chicago, the Aragon Ballroom, had held the record for... Uh, most bras thrown on stage by women with 11. Yes. And then, uh, Orlando, boy, they really took it upon themselves to, uh, up the ante a little bit. Oh, yeah. And I just, like, I, I can't describe to you what it was like looking on stage, because no one could throw the bras, like, from the back all the way up. So, like, they would be thrown and then caught by someone ahead of them. And we were, we were, like... Obviously, we were looking into the audience. Yeah. So there's just waves of bras flying at us. My friends are all gone. I'm so very lonely. <laughs> I didn't see one right, person- good door. Good door opening. <laughs> okay. I didn't see one person ever actually take off a bra. No, we well, just They just- we just saw bras. Well, yeah. Ladies flying towards that. us. Um, so that's great. Oh, it was fucking hilarious. Um... Oh, but let, let me just say, Ice Smash. I'm going to, you uh... Smash? I'm going to say, um... Paul Cookbook. Made her delish. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> yeah, I did it. I know you were trying hard and you did Collecting your best. These will help. Oh yeah, I can upgrade characters, right? With my shine sprites? Yeah, That's dude. what someone was telling me. Chat it. <laughs> Shot it. I'll I mean, I was just going along with you. I don't know one way or another. Yeah, I'll do that uh, at some point soon. Okay, cool. But yeah, um, let me just say, uh, let's, let's keep the bra contest at that. Because, uh, like, we can... If we go anywhere further from here, like, it's just gonna be someone, like, bringing a fucking dump truck filled with bras to a future show and just, like, leaving them all on. So we should- Yeah. Let's put an end to the bra thing. That was- that was the one thing that was, uh, that was, um, odd about that whole situation. Cause maybe about seven of those bras were intended to be on stage. Oh yeah, no. Most of them were and, just uh, whipped off. Yeah. It was- it was hot. Yeah. I can't lie to you. It was- it, the, it was exciting. Everyone was going free and easy that night, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of flying free. And you're on the spring. Oh, wow, look at this. Nicely done. And that'll just bring me back up. Right on! Okay. Noted, noted. You just, are learning things. Just checking and learning. One by one about this creepy haunted mansion. The Shh, Stevie Creeple. <laughs> the creepy steeple. That is one Stevie Creeple. Open the box, what do you find? <laughs> So, you're in a bind! <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I'm, you're losing your <laughs> the mind! The waves of the damned! <laughs> Holy shit, that was a lot of ghosts. Okay, it's quiz time, interloper. <laughs> <laughs> Just now, when the box opened, how many of us booze came out? Oh total? god. Jeez. That was way more than 50. Yeah, I'm gonna say 100. Too bad, foolish mortal. The correct answer was 200. But we'll send you home uh, with this parting gift. <sighs> See ya, sucker. Damn, he's diarrheaed out that coin, no yeah, problem. Yeah, I'll take it. Nice. I wonder what I would've gotten if I gotten it right. Uh, I don't know. It's locked from the inside. But I bet that Boo's all happy now. Um... Oh, you know what? And... A lot of people don't know this, but, um... Ninja Brian, whenever someone throws their bra on stage, Ninja Brian likes to put them down his pants. Yes. And so he had quite, uh... The <laughs> task in front of him... Oh, yes. ...to, uh... Put 70 plus bras down his pants. Um, Quite the display. Yeah, and so let's put up a picture. Matt Ryan, boom! There's Ninja Brian with all the bras in his pants. Wow. What a time. What Damn. a time. But yeah, yeah, it looks like he has a horrible disease. Thank you for coming. Yeah, it does. Elephantitis don't even get <laughs> don't me started. Don't even get me started. A flower saver. Mmm. Mm. That sounds delicious. Right, Delightful. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for coming to those shows, everybody. And, yeah. uh, Please 
continue to come to them because like we're having a blast and they're amazing and I think we'll just play bigger venues in new cities and it's gonna be unreal yeah so hopefully a lot of people can I know a lot of people weren't able to get in so I'm excited hopefully the bigger venues will let people more people get in Ugh. Are you going to be mean to me? Yes. I don't know. That's up to you. I like my victims to really know what's coming. No. Promise! Ha ha ha! Come on out, guys. Oh, you should have said yes. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Huh. Are they- Well then. Oh, God. This is a nightmare. That's spooktacular. Oh ho ho mwa ha 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 hee hee. Oh ho ho mwa ha 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 hee hee hee. Oh, 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 oh. Is that supposed to be scary? I don't know. I think they're being friendly. Oh, oh shit. Oh, they're taking you. Okay. They're taking you. <laughs> okay. Oh, those bastards. <sighs> All right. Next time I'm fucking Game Grumps, I'm going to be mean to those assholes. You got it. I'm going to be mean as fuck to them. You got it. Oh, my God. That's what I get. That's what I get. That's what I get for being a delightful dude. <laughs>